Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're having a great day. It is a nice late winter day. The temps are pretty high. We're getting ready for spring. I can't wait. I hope the weather's great where you're at. All right, today we're going to look at creating a pixel tower, or some people call it a Jenga tower. And I have some number sliders here that I can look at changing the geometry, and you see that kind of happening in real time in front of you. And I have this seed count that I can shuffle these around. And I also have um, something that where I can change the size of these pixelated boxes. All right, before we jump into the tutorial, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Search me up on YouTube at Alfonso Peluso. Click on the subscribe button. Click on the down arrow to receive all the notifications. Also, connect with me on Instagram. See what I'm up to. I've been making some top five videos recently, and I've been getting a lot of really good feedback on those. So don't miss out on those videos. Also help me to get to 7,000 followers. That would be great. All right, so today we're looking at this pixel tower or Jenga tower. And we have what's lovingly called the Jenga tower in New York at 56 Leonard. And what does that look like? Well, it looks like this. So we're doing something similar to that. Seems to be a, seems to be a trend in architecture. And that's in New York and in Thailand, we have the Mahanakan. <laughs> if I'm even saying it correctly, well, let me know. And that building kind of has a spiraling pixel effect to it. So those are our two case studies. So as you saw, we're making something similar to that. All right, let's get started. So in Rhino, I'm just going to open up a new file, and that is going to be a large objects, so large objects feet. I'm going to work in feet. So large objects feet, feet and in inches. So I'm going to start with that template. And I'm going to start a new file in Grasshopper. I'll maximize, maximize my perspective viewport. I'm going to set up my grid in Rhino. So I'm going to type in DOC, which is short for document properties. And I'm going to change my grid line count to 10. And my minor grid line count to 10 feet and major grid lines every 10 minor. Snap spacing, I'll set to 10. All right, so all 10s, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, all right. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is make a box that defines the size of our, our skyscraper, and that's gonna be 100 feet long by 50 feet deep by 800 feet tall. So I'm gonna start by making a box, and that's gonna be a box two point. All right, let me turn on my bifocal so you guys can see, see the names of these capsules. All right, so I'm going to make a few number sliders here. So the first one I'm going to make is 100, and that's going to be in the X direction. So I, I'm going to need a construct point to go in between these. So construct point. All right, so the first point is just going to be at 0, 0, 0. So that can be the default construct point. I'm going to drag this down, hold down my Alt key, makes a nice little copy of it. Plug that into point B, and that's going to be 100 in the X, and that's going to be 50 in the Y, and that's going to be 800 in the Z. So that's going to be my, my tower, which is a nice super slim tower. Uh, that's the trend these days is all these super slim tall towers and you're seeing so many of those in Manhattan. All right. So there it is. Nice slim tall tower. So that's the outline of our tower. So the next thing I need to do is populate it with points. So I'm going to use a populate Populate geometry, not 3D or 2D, but populate geometry. And I'm going to plug my 
volume into that. And there you see a bunch of points are populated in that geometry. And my count, I'm going to start with a count of 125, which gives me a number slider greater than 100. And my seed that shuffles around the points, I'm going to start with 25. All right, so there we have our points. Let's get this spread out a little bit. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to host a box, basically, to every one of those points with this amazing capsule inside a grasshopper called Octa. Let's get that out, oct tree. So there's oct tree. And if you're not sure where that is, it's actually under the meshes category. So if I hold down um, with the control alt, yes, control alt, and I press on it, you see we get the nice arrows. It's under the mesh tab, and you see oct tree. So that's, that's control alt over the capsule. All right. So we have a couple couple um, inputs. We have square, and that's a true-false, so I'm going to use a Boolean toggle, and that I'm going to set to true, and then we, we get some squares there, and the group is actually the size, so this probably works better for the decimal place. So I'm going to do um, 0 less than 12.555, just to give me um, some number, a number slider with some decimals in between 0 and 12.5. And we see that happening here. Let's zoom into that. All right, so let's, let's take a look at this geometry. Let's get a better look at it. So I'm going to use a custom preview. And I'm going to plug that in. And by default, it's Pepto-Bismol pink. I can always add a color through a color swatch. And that will change the color of that, those boxes. And I can set that up. Okay, I'm also going to do select it and do shift control I, which selects everything else. Right click in a canvas, preview off. And now we can see our boxes. I think, let's go to a rendered view. Let's turn the ground on. So I'm just typing in ground plane and I'm turning that on to get some shadows on the ground. All right, so we have some nice shadows there. I'm going to just pull some of these number sliders over just to take a look at how this is going to change like I did at the beginning of the video. So this is the amount of points. So you can see the more you get, the more pixelated it gets. Looks very Minecraft, Minecrafty. And then this shifts those pixels around, which is really cool. And then this is the size. So not too much control on the size there. It likes to be a really small number. All right. That's all I wanted to cover. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something here. The pixel tower. My head's going to pop up in the upper left. I'm going to put two videos on the right, upper right, lower right. Give me a like and let me know why you like the video. All right, I will see you on the next one.